up in the corner during the fight. Of course, promotion and image making, something that comes very easy to Tyrone Trice. What he needs is a, is a win to really take that big step up. Both fighters wearing black trunks and black shoes. Both fighters have their names at the waist belt. Brown has Simon at the belt line, and Trice has Trice. So it is a first and a last name basis. These two go at it. Yeah, and, and Tyrone Trice, and now around on the right of your screen, is the more straight-up boxer. He stands much more straight up. Simon Brown will get down lower. A left of the body there by Trice. Both of these fighters will throw in combination. Neither one of these guys just a one-punch knockout artist. The last time these two fought, it was a 15-round fight. This one's scheduled for 12. Working to the body is Tyrone Trice. On the inside, where it is now, Dan, you would expect that Simon Brown would have a little bit of advantage, but so far, Tyrone has been a little bit busier, both on the inside and the outside. Both of these fighters in excess of 30 professional fights. Good one-two by Tyrone Trice. Two extremely skilled fighters. Some people make the case that they might be the two best fighters in the in the welterweight division. Of course, Mark Reel and Marlon Starling don't want to hear any of that. Yeah, I think people make a case for Simon Brown, Dan. I think that... Tyrone Trice has to make his own yeah. case today. Tyrone has to really make it exactly right. You might see a little bit of what we talked about at the top right here, Dan. Neither fighter starting as quickly as they did in the first fight. Both men a little bit tentative, knowing that they might have a long, grueling afternoon ahead of them, and they're definitely pacing themselves, at least thus far. Although, Alex, you'll agree, both of these fighters in outstanding condition, Simon Brown in particular, known as one of the hardest team, and there's a good left coming off the ropes by Trice. You see, Trice is the edge in speed, especially when he's fresh. Yeah, both, both, uh, both those hit gloves. Exactly. Effectively blocked by Simon Brown. He's talking about the conditioning a moment ago. Ooh, oh, and there's right a good in. right again by Trice. Twice now, Trice has scored coming off the ropes. Quick point about conditioning. Tyrone Trice was always known early in his career as someone who was not a dedicated trainer. But he has improved his conditioning to the point where in his last fight in January against Kevin Pompey, he threw what was counted by punch stat as 1,182 punches in that 12-round fight, which is an all-time record for, for that counting system. We're approaching the final 10 seconds of the first round. A good solid start for both fighters, but Tyrone Trice looking quick, landing the harder blows here in the first round. A kiss? Oh, um, Here's the bell for the start of the second round. Again, a reminder, both fighters are wearing black trucks and black shoes. They have their names. Simon Brown with Simon. Trice has Trice on his waistband, although now it's, it's covered up. Tyrone Trice has the white tassels on his boxing shoes. I mean, uh, Simon Brown, rather, has the white tassels. <laughs> we got him confused uh, now. <laughs> I, I knew this would happen. A good combination, a scoring combination at time by Simon Brown. Right and now it's a good Simon stiff jab by Brown. Right now it's Simon Brown coming forward. And That's Simon a, Brown being much more aggressive than he was in round one, Alex. In the quarter between rounds, Emil Griffith, his new trainer, tapped him a little bit, said, are you listening to me? Wanted to get his attention to make sure that Simon wakes up in time to get into this fight. The good counter again by Trice coming off the ropes. Right hand counter. That's been his trademark so far. Simon Brown, as we said, from this area. There's his wife, Lisa, seated at ringside. They live in Germantown, Maryland, outside the Washington area. Simon grew up here in Washington, D.C., as well as Jamaica, his home country. Again, Simon using a good stiff jab to back up Tyrone, but... Oh, oh and there's a warning. That was a... I think Smoker is giving Trice a warning for hitting low. I, I think it was for hitting on the break when he told him to stop boxing, and Tyrone continued. The left also went low. You could hear Smoker say, keep them up. Oh, a good left that time by Brown. 
Simon Brown landing much more, and much more in the way of heavy blows this round. That's right, and interestingly, he just forced Tyrone to, to clinch. I mean, that wasn't a case where Tyrone was in any danger. He just looked a little bit tired. His mouth was open, and he grabbed him. It's awful early in the fight for, for that to be happening. Good double jab there by Tyrone Trice, keeping Brown back. It's a good flicking jab by Trice. He's going to need it to keep the forward moving Brown off of it. Again, Tyrone grabbing. I think there's already been more clinches in this fight. Yeah. The 40 seconds left in round one is the word in the whole first fight. If I said round one, I meant round two. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a good right hand by Tyrone Price. Those jabs by Brown block. But, but Tyrone Trice is not nearly as active as he was in round one. Isolated shots. He landed those isolated shots, he might have done some damage. Winding down, round number two. The IBF welterweight championship scheduled for 12. And Alex, we had a few blows after the bell in round two. Yeah, and clearly, Simon Brown threw two punches well after the bell. Steve Smoker warned him. Simon also did that in the first fight and lost a point in round 10 from Smoker. Ooh. Oh, good. After a series of jabs, a good right hand that time by Trice. Again, Tyrone Trice in the all black. Simon Brown in the all black, but he's got Simon at the waist and white tassels on his shoes. Good look there at the Simon on his waistband. Good left of the body that time by the champion Brown. It appears that Trice is much more effective, Alex, when he's throwing that jab and then working a combination off of that. Simon Brown has not been as busy as I expected him. He, he's, they both landed good punches, but neither man has been as effective putting the punches together as I expected they would be, as they, as they have shown in earlier fights. Trademark of this fight has been Simon Brown being the aggressor. Tyrone Trice fighting, moving backwards, but still throwing effective combinations. Yeah, Tyrone is a person who can, he can really score going back. Yeah, he can score and he can land power punches. I mean, he can set himself with that back foot and let that right hand go. A good shot by Brown. Even though Trice was trying to clear himself off the ropes. A good legal blow. Every time Trice has been back on the ropes, he's tried to score coming off, and he's connected. See if he does it here. Trice up against the ropes. There's Natalie Trice at ringside as well, cheering on her husband, the challenger. And no doubt has spent countless hours talking to her husband about what happened in 1988. When Trice had Brown down in the second round and watched Brown come back and win the vacant championship in the 14th. One of the reasons uh, a lot of people question Tyrone's dedication to training was when he used to go to camp, he used to break that boxing tradition. He takes his wife with him to camp. Just struck a blow for the wives of America. Alex. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> Tyrone trying to box. Here is corner saying, good right hand of the body by Tyrone. Both men worked the body much more in the first fight as well. Another series of jabs by Trice. He fouled with a right but missed. Tried another right and it went short as well. Good action here in round three. We'll return to Washington. The beginning of the fourth round, Dan Deardorff and Alex Wallow with you for the IBF World Welterweight Championship between Simon Brown because both fighters are dressed the same. Simon Brown with the white tassels and the Simon at his waist. A good combination with a scoring right that time by Tyrone Trice. Alex, again, at the end of the third round, we saw blows and both fighters going at it after the bell. And, and really, it was Simon Brown who was the offender, and 
I think that that is testimony to that needling we saw at the press conference and we've seen throughout the entire pre-fight coming in here. I mean, Simon is a very quiet, very disciplined young man, but Tyrone Trice gets under his skin. And for those of you that missed the beginning of the show, Tyrone Trice has taken every opportunity to get under the skin of Simon Brown. And there he is actually hitting while Steve Smoker is in the middle of the two fighters, a clear violation by Trice. And a good double left by Simon Brown. Trademark of a skilled fighter. I think both fighters have pushed Smoker about as far as he's going to be pushed. The next one to make a mistake, I think, might uh, get penalized. Oh, a good combination again by Simon Brown, and back comes Tyrone Trice. We'd like to remind our local ABC stations that at the end of this round, we'll be taking a station break unless something happens in the interim. Might have seen, back might have into seen, the corner, Alex. Sorry, Dan. You might have seen along the ropes there when Tyrone had his back to the ropes. He learned one thing from the first fight, at least for now. Simon tried three left hooks, and he blocked all three of them by holding his right hand up. That left hook was the punch that stopped him in the 14th round of their first fight. for the first time this fight in the middle of the ring. The pattern has been Brown, the aggressor, moving forward. The first time they've been stationary in punching. They've been toe-to-toe -to -toe a few times, but they both clinched area. Right now, they're, they're being busier on the inside. We talked about Tyrone Try standing straight up. On the inside, he'll bend there. Watch at the end of the, of the confrontation. He backs out straight up with his chin up in the air. And he's separating his gloves. And Simon Brown got a couple of uppercuts up between his gloves. Look at Brown. There he scores with that uppercut again. This is the end of round four. And Slip Small Liquor Professional Boxing will continue after this word from your local ABC station. And Brown ended that round very, very big, landing the heaviest punches of, of the fight by either man. This is action in round number five. So Tyrone tries off balance, come up with an elbow. Simon Brown, the champion. Tyrone tries the challenger. Both fighters, again, I'll remind you, wearing black. The champion with tassels on his shoes and the Simon, the word Simon, across his waistband. Simon Brown is definitely picking up the pace. And the key is going to be whether Tyrone can keep the pace. Same pattern we've seen to date. Price fighting most of the time working backwards. Age not a factor in this fight. Brown the champion at 25. A good flurry there by Brown. Trice blocks several of those. Trice the challenger at 26. Tyrone is bloodied in the mouth at least. Maybe the nose, but definitely in the mouth. Those. Oh, and a good right by Tyrone Trice. And a good left right back by Simon Brown. Holding on the ropes there. Yeah, now that's illegal, holding on to the ropes and throwing a punch. Tyrone Trice choosing to stay in the corner. Oh, and he pulls Simon Brown towards him and goes to the clinch. Boy, that's a way the heads could really smash together. He pulled him right into him. Inside the last minute of the fifth round. And already, Tyrone Trice is digging down very deep to try to keep the pace. He's not being steamrolled yet, but you have the feeling, Dan, that he's putting the, putting out a much bigger effort than Simon Brown is. It's been a very workmanlike, methodical effort by Simon Brown. And I agree with your assessment, Alex, completely. The other problem Tyrone has is, we talked earlier about the fact that he has to do his damage early when he's fresh. That's when his power is most effective. There's a fleck of blood over the left eye of Simon Brown. Oh, and another good combination by Brown, and Trice chooses to bail out. The end of the fifth. 
opening seconds of the sixth round from the Armory in Washington, D.C. Dan Deardorff, Alex Wallow ringside for the IBF welterweight championship. Simon Brown and Tyrone Trice. You see the white material on the left eye of Simon Brown, the coagulant trying to close up that nick. Tyrone Trice was bleeding from the nose and the mouth. Good overhand looping right by Trice that, that got through. Simon Brown there on your left, Trice on the right. There you see a little movement by Tyrone. He knows that all the time he spent on the ropes that last round did him absolutely no good whatsoever. He blocked some punches, but an awful lot got through it. And the blood, look at the blood now, Alex, streaming down pretty good over the left eye of Simon Brown. Yeah, I called it a nick. the side, not in the eye. I called it a nick. It's more than a nick. And that might give Tyrone Trice a little surge. You'll see that he's done some damage. A lot more movement now by Trice. <laughs> Luminaries aplenty here at ringside in Washington, D.C. There is Oliver North, who got an ovation from the crowd when he came in. John Riggins, Redskin fullback, former Redskin fullback here at ringside as well. Luminaries is interesting. Luminaries. A plenty, by the way. I don't think that Oliver North's attendance is much of a concern to these two right now, though. This fight right now looking to be every bit as exciting to this point as their battle in Berkshire, France, back in 1988. Good, solid work. And you see the fellow in the background standing up every once in a while, the yellow windbreaker about four rows back there, motioning his hand. That's Matthew Saad Muhammad, the former light heavyweight champion of the world. And he knows what it is to be in these kind of wars. Well, so does Meldrick Taylor, who's here with us as well. Meldrick with us yesterday in Tampa. This is sixth round action in the last minute of the sixth round. With strong right by Tyrone Trice. But again, it's Tyrone that forces the, the clinch just not as active as he has to be. And again, a couple of punches there doesn't work in the inside. Coming up on the halfway point of this fight, Alex, at least on my scorecard, I got Tyrone Trice off to a fast start, but since that first round, it's been all Simon Brown. Well, that's right. Direct contrast to their first meeting when Tyrone totally dominated the first six rounds, of the, not totally, but was way ahead after the first six rounds of the fight. If this goes to decision, we're halfway there. On the seventh round, nothing's changed. It's Simon Brown pressing the attack. Tyrone tries trying to buy time with a clinch and getting a warning from Steve Smoger about too much of it. Simon's turned southpaw here. Sometimes fighters turn southpaw out of desperation. I think Simon did it there just showing off a little bit. Knows he's in charge, thinks he's in charge. For those of you that have been with us from the beginning, don't get mad at me, but I have to keep reminding our new viewers who's who here. Simon Brown, the champion, is wearing the black trunks as is Trice, but he has Simon at the waistband and the white tassels on his shoes. Generally, Tyrone Trice will look like the taller man. And throughout most of this recent rounds of this fight, he's been the man backing up with his back on the ropes. Tyrone desperately needs to land something big soon, because if it goes much longer, he's not going to have anything left. And I'm not sure how much he's got left right now. Oh, and that uppercut by Simon Brown separated the gloves of Trice and snapped his head. When they're in close, Brown is working the uppercut and scoring with it repeatedly. Oh, and a couple of good lefts by Brown. Good stiff jab. And every round, at least for the last three, Alex, you can see a difference in Tyrone Price. He appears to be waning a bit. Yeah, he's running out of gas. We said at the top, Dan, that these were two superbly conditioned young men. Either Simon Brown's punches took an awful lot out of Tyrone quickly, or we overestimated his conditioning. Well, there's no doubt a pounding will have a direct relation to what kind of condition you thought you were in. Again, Simon Southpaw. Another good uppercut by Brown. And you're right, he's in the southpaw stance. And Simon Brown, a relentless attack here in the seventh. Ooh. Oh, a good 
left by Brown. You can hear that. That one hit glove. Blocked by Trice. Brown again, switching back and forth. Tyrone Trice told us that he's knocked out every left-hander he ever faced. Well, right now, Simon Brown is a, is a switching every once in a while a southpaw, and he doesn't look like he's in much danger of getting knocked out. And credit the corner of Simon Brown, the cut that we saw over his, his oh. eye last round. Not a factor right now, not bleeding at all. And oh! Tyrone, but a good right by Trice. That was close. I mean, he just didn't, doesn't have enough left to make it hurt. That was right on the button. The end of the seventh. Turn to the eighth round. On our unofficial scorecards here at ringside, it's Simon Brown with a commanding lead. If you ever went to the old garden to watch the fights and watch Daniel Griffith fight, you might remember his mother, who had one of the loudest voices you could hear her up in the cheap seats. Well, Mrs. Griffith didn't raise any fool. Emil Griffith's instructions to his fighter when he sat down, said to Simon, looked him right in the eye and said, same thing. And I think that's the best advice he could give him. Protect yourself at all times, guys. There is the daughter of Tyrone Price, Natasha. His only child, and she's rooting daddy on, and he needs all the help he can get. A couple of good body shots by Brown. He has not, a warning by Smoker, I do think one was low. He has not worked the body as much as he did in the first fight. I think he could really accelerate what looks like Tyrone Trice's demise here if he did work the body a little more. If not drain him, at least bring his hands down. Again, a reminder that when the last time these two fought back in April of 88, most people call it the best fight of 88. They, I guess you could honestly say that these two really hate each other. Tyrone Trice, at least, has expressed that sentiment about Simon Brown. Simon Brown is choosing to let his gloves do the talking. Again, Trice back on the ropes. And again, Trice taking a terrible beating in close. Not showing facially. Oh. Steve Smoker one time. He says, a, minute, a minute left here in the eighth round. Tyrone tries trying to hang on. And Simon Brown desperately trying to push him away. Steve Smoker separates the fighters. Blood at the nose and the mouth of Trice. And Brown goes back to the body and Trice has nothing. Goes south point to land a right hook to the body. Tyrone Trice has nothing left. He's got a lot of guts. He does have that. Can he hang on? excessive holding. Give me one more, kid. Okay. And Steve Smoker just said he was going to give him one more round. Let's take a look at the knockdown. He penalized, by the way, Trice, not Brown. Trice for excessive right, holding, right. right. Nine, 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 nine. Uppercut, twist of the head of Tyrone Trice around, and then the left hook. That is almost a carbon copy left hook of the punch that knocked Tyrone Trice out of the 14th round of their first fight. Now, Trice got a point deducted, but that was a point well spent, as it were. Is his holding on allowed him to survive the eighth round? We go to round nine. How much can you 
sum it up in 60 seconds? That's the question Tyrone Trice trying to answer right now. He has to pray that Simon Brown has punched himself out a little bit, but right now Simon gives no evidence of that. Again, that white substance on the left eye of Simon Brown's is probably Abatine. And you can hear the crowd. It's a Simon Brown crowd. Brown bleeding again over the eye. Brown against Southpaw. Again, there's another right by Trice that gets in and scores. Tyro Trice showing a lot of guts. Simon Brown pursuing the attack. Tyrone Trice just threw a counter right hand, landed right in the button, and nothing happened. And, and it's just got to be a horrible.